Hi, in this video tutorial I will show you how to make the eyelid effect I posted earlier on YouTube. Instead of using that silly model I created, I'm going to use my Velociraptor instead. I have it open, I'm just going to zoom into the eye, enter edit mode, and now you will notice that I have hidden the rest of the mesh so I don't get all too much on the screen at the same time when I'm editing. First thing we need to do is to add a shape key. A shape key allows you to have multiple shapes in on once. You go into editing. You find shapes, press add shape key, add shape key. We'll need to have it too. Then split the 3D view so we can uh, add the IPO curve editor, change the type to shape, and here we can see the bold shape keys. They are currently closed, but um, same. It will not, will not change when we are doing this. Select key number one and rename it down here to I open. Since this will be when it is open, and this will be when it is closed. For some reason, you cannot rename that one. So we'll just leave that alone. Now, when we have selected this the first one, we are gonna first change a little bit, see that it is working. Yes, it does. See, what is it? Two different. Now, just mom. All we need to do is animate the or model so the eyelid is closed. I'm just going to do this a little quick, quick and dirty. <coughs> Smooth it a couple of times. And let's do the same thing. Hang in front you, rotate, move. If I wouldn't have to use this, I wouldn't have it done more thoroughly. I just So, so let's mo move this. Move them, I said. Doesn't look pretty pretty right now, but um, this is just for demonstration use. So. I will not bother about that right now. Oh well, to make this work, you will have to use a driver. Driver makes an, you able to rotate an other object and may, may be able to switch between these two. So, add space add mesh or add an empty. It works perfectly fine. Position it above. Select the uh, Velociraptor. When in the RPO curvature, press N to get the transform properties up. 
and press add driver object should be empty or the object you want to use and then use root in any direction you will prefer and then just find the empty where did it go way away <laughs> Move it. Top of the router. I'm gonna maximize this. And now you can see that if I want to rotate this, you can see that we are in fact getting the effect. Now, to keep this from going haywire like this. We have to add some curves in the curves editor. So hold down control and press right mouse key anywhere and just anywhere. Then press tab to enter edit mode and then move this around. You have to tweak this a lot so Actually, I get uh, pretty damn good at the r first try here. <laughs> Managed to do it right away. But anyway, this is how I did effect. Okay, this will need some t tweaking to do. Probably make it look nice. Now, when you want to animate it, the only thing you need to do is animate this empty. So I will go back on first frame, making sure the eye is completely open. Like so. Press I, insert key on rotation. Then move forward about a few frames. Rotate the empty so the eyes get closed. And insert the key in rotation. And maybe I add some pause time. And open the eye again. Now I should have set N to 61, so we don't have to wait over to repeat. And now we can see that we have a very effective effect. Hope you have found this tutorial helpful and have a nice day.